Hello all, 4 play Squad Gaming here, and this is our Final Fantasy XIV Trial Guard series. The Wall Eater Extreme is a level 50 full party optional trial featured during the quest Wall of a Time. The quest giver is Uriange in the Waking Sands. It is worth mentioning at the time of recording this video, 20 Tombstones of Poetics are awarded upon completion. This part can be tricky due to the area constraints, but follow this guide and hopefully you won't get swept away. So without further ado, let's fight the Prime of the Water, Leviathan. We can start this fight as normal with the main tank gaining Enmity of Leviathan and the party dealing damage. The fight starts with a beatdown phase, in which Leviathan allows you to pile on free damage until around 90% health. When Leviathan disappears, you need to be aware of where the Primal will reappear. Look out around the longer platform edges for a pillar of water, indicating Leviathan's reappearance location. You need to run to the opposite side of the platform of the water pillar, as when Leviathan does reappear, you'll be knocked towards Leviathan in an uncontrollable slide. This mechanic becomes much more important later in the fight, so make sure to get some good practice on your position whilst the barriers are still up. Leviathan will split into Leviathan's head and Leviathan's tail, each on opposite sides of the platform. The main tank should take the head and position themselves towards the outer edge of the platform whilst the off tank gains enmity of the tail. For the damage dealers we need to determine what type of damage we deal out and focus on the body part applicable. Leviathan's head will reflect all physical range damage and the tail will reflect magic damage. Make sure to attack the correct body part as to not take unnecessary damage from reflected attacks. It is worth mentioning that physical melee DPS players can attack either, thus meaning tanks are also aren't affected. The main tanks should position themselves towards the outer edge of the platform as mentioned before so that Dread Tide is carted off the platform and not into other players. The off tank will have more mobility and can help DPS players with adds later on. The tail will use a ranged attack scale darts, so keeping this in mind when you venture away from the tail. Early in this first phase, Leviathan will summon three adds, two wave spine and one wave tooth sahagin. This needs to be killed as quickly as possible, prioritizing the wave tooth sahagin first. If the wave tooth is not killed quickly enough, it will leave a tainted ground AoE that will cause any player walking into it to get debuffed with hysteria, losing all control of their character for 10 seconds. We need to avoid this at all costs, as you can easily wipe if the healers or tanks are affected. The healers will also need to be careful when healing the off tank during this fight, as the off tank will be debuffed with Briny Mirror. This debuff will cause any player that casts a healing ability on the tank to receive a stack of Briny Veil. This stackable debuff will render that player completely unable to act when the stack reaches 16, so efficient spell management is required. A top tip is that regens, stone skin and scholar pet abilities do not stack Briny Veil, so use these as much as you can. You can choose to tank swap to minimise the debuffs, but just be mindful of your healing abilities and you shouldn't reach the 16 stacks. During this first phase and throughout, Leviathan will also use Aqua Breath, a single target attack dealing low damage, and Tidal Roar, an area-wide ability dealing low damage, and finally, Water Spout. This multi-target AoE will only focus the healers, so make sure to spread out away from other party members, including the other healer, to avoid overlapping stacking damage. Heal through these attacks as necessary. After the first set of adds are killed, four Gyre Spoons will be summoned at each corner of the platform. These will need to be focused and killed as quickly as possible, as they will reduce their elemental conversion bar needed to survive Leviathan's wipe ability. You can see how much elemental conversion power you have here. The main tank can also switch to deal damage to their closest Gyre Spoon, and the off tank should help the DPS kill the others. Once you have killed the Spoons, Leviathan will disappear and will now do one of two rotations. If Leviathan's water pillar is on the longer edges of the platform, avoid these as normal by running away from them. Being hit by spinning dive as shown here will grant a stack of water resistance down. Not great when fighting a water primal. Make sure to centralise and dodge any further spinning dives. If you activate the elemental converter during this rotation, you will wipe, as Leviathan will stall his wipe ability and the shield will run out. Leviathan's other rotation will be a singular spinning dive towards the elemental converter. Avoid the dive and then activate the elemental converter as quickly as possible. The shield will then generate and absorb most of the damage from Tidal Wave. You will need at least 30 out of 100 on the elemental converter power bar to survive the attack. Being able to determine the rotation is critical for surviving this fight. You will need to remember this for later on in the fight as well. At the start of either rotation, when Leviathan disappears, it will also cast Grand Fall. This will target two random party members with a circular AoE that must be avoided. This multi-target AoE deals moderate damage and inflicts anyone hit with heavy, making it more difficult to avoid the spinning dives and body slams. 
Grand Ball will target the same players for 3 balls, so make sure to avoid other players and cart the AoE circles away from them. If you have survived Tidal Wave, get ready for Phase 2, with no barriers for safety. Leviathan will start this phase with a body slam. With no barriers to stop us falling off the edge, we now need to ensure we are positioned correctly to avoid being knocked off the platform and killed. The main tank needs to resume their normal position and the party needs to keep up damage until more Sahagin adds spawn. Prioritise these as before and kill them as quickly as possible. Do this whilst dodging all of Leviathan's previously mentioned abilities. After a short while, further Gyre Spoons will spawn and we deal with these in the same manner as Phase 1. Be mindful that depending on your damage output, Leviathan can disappear either spinning dive or body slam, so make sure to position yourself well and keep up time on the Gyre Spoons as and when you can. In this phase, Leviathan will also summon 4 Wave Spumes. These spumes need to be kept alive and kited around the area by whoever they are tethered to, or get the off tank to pick them up, using cooldowns to reduce the damage from them. Doing this whilst also dodging grand balls, spinning dives and body slams can be very tricky, and this is usually the phase where parties will whine. Focus more on where Leviathan is rather than the spumes, and pick up the giant spume DPS check damage and wave spume kiting after Leviathan has knocked you around. You put the damage on Leviathan and the wave zooms will pop after a short time. When Leviathan disappears, avoid the singular spinning dive and then activate the elemental converter to survive another tidal wave. This is our final phase that will include a singular spellcaster ad that must be killed to avoid placing a hysteria pool and we still need to dodge any Leviathan spinning dives and body slams. If the party damage output is too low, then after a while Leviathan will cast another tidal wave in which we have no shield to protect from thus wiping this trial. Most parties will easily have the damage required to kill Leviathan in this phase, just keep up the damage while dodging all of Leviathan's numerous abilities to send Leviathan back to the depths of the ocean. And there you have it, the Wall Eater Extreme is complete. Remember to commemorate the player you believe deserves it most and pick up your loot. We give this trial a difficulty rating 4 out of 5 swords, positioning is critical in this fight and roll knowledge is required to survive. The special loot for this trial includes the Wave Weaponry, Leviathan's Barb Crafting Item, Barb of the Wall Crafting Item, Mirror of the Wall, the Enbar Mount Whistle, Faded Copies of Wreck to the Seaman and Through the Maelstrom Orchestrian Rolls, and the Leviathan Card. Remember to like, comment, and if you haven't already, click to subscribe. We are 4Player Squad Gaming, thanks for watching.